Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking all about tropes, specifically fake dating. Now, I've never experienced fake dating before. I have I have regular dated before and that has not had a very high success rate so I feel like I should branch out into the fake dating because that just seems like it has a higher success rate for all my fictional friends. So let's buckle up because I have wrecks, a bunch of wrecks, because I love buying books. So let's start off with <sighs> Redeemed by Laura Nasher. This is the ultimate fake dating grumpy sunshine sports romance book that you probably will ever read. This is book four in the Dirty Air series and Lauren saved the best for last with this series because Santi and Chloe, they're fantastic. They are absolutely fantastic together. I don't want to give too much away, but you need to read this book. It's just, it's so so good. The next one we have is one that I talked about in a couple videos ago is The Right Move by Liz Tom Ford. Now Ryan is Stevie's brother. If you have not read Mile High please go do that. I said that in my last video. Please go read both of these books. Ryan is a very closed off basketball player because he is the highest basketball player in the league. Indy's boyfriend breaks up with her because she's just she is no longer the girl that her boyfriend is looking for. So whenever Ryan's general manager suggests that no one's gonna take him seriously because he like doesn't really show off his personal life, he sees Indy and says, actually I do have a girlfriend. Ensue the fake dating. It's just, it's so good. He loves quality time. He loves letting her use his money, which it's great. Read this book. This was one of my absolute standout reads from a few months ago. Next we have the book that blew up on TikTok last year. This is Blindside by Candy Steiner. This is book two in her Red Zone Rival series. And we have Clay and Gianna. These two are adorable. He wants to get over his ex and she wants to learn how to date because she is like very flirty flirty with this guitarist. She's also a very inexperienced we're just gonna put it at that. And these two decide to test out everything, like getting over his ex and then her trying to figure out really how to date. There's a lot of teaching moments in here and it's hot. Candy really just, she put it all in this book. Next is The Front Runner by Elsie Silver. Not a lot of people know about the series. This is part of her Gold Rush Ranch series. This is book three. Book one and four are my favorite, but this one is Enemies to Lovers and Fake Dating because Stefan wanted to buy another character's horse whenever she didn't want to sell him. It's so he is essentially the villain in everyone else's story, except for with Mira. Guys, I, I love this book. Ultimate Fake Dating, start with book one, off to the races. And then if you are a fan of Chestnut Springs, their sister, Violet Eaton, has book two. Just saying, she had her book first. Like I've always said before, girls rule, boys rule. Next, I wanna say he's like the biggest simp for Stella. We have Twisted Lies by Anna Huang and Christian. First off, I'm upset that I never went to a big city and got the apartment owner to like fall in love with me and then lower my rent to what I could afford. Stella had it made. Stella absolutely had it made. And she has a stalker and he is like protecting her and ensues the fake dating. Just, this was the thickest book of the series. But Twisted Hate is my absolute favorite, followed by Twisted Games, Love, and then Lies. This, this was good. It was just a little too long for my liking. We we have some more to go. We have A Funny Feelings by Tara DeWitt. This is Single Dad. This is also fake dating. This, I adored these two. Adored these two. And I'm so glad I got this cover before it switched over to like the blue one. I just don't feel like it fits their vibe. So if you have not read Funny Feelings by Tara DeWitt, please do it. It's just, it's it's so wholesome. I loved it. I have never wanted to get more inside of a male main character's head than I have wanted to Aiden. So Aiden is Canadian, but he lives in Texas. His visa is about to expire. When he tells someone that he is essentially married to someone, he ropes in his assistant, Vanessa, and he says, I'm going to pay off all your student loans. I would have said yes as soon as he said, I'm going to pay off your student loans. I would not have thought about it. I would have just said yes because I hate, I don't want to pay my student loans anymore. I just, I don't want to pay them. So my goal in life is to find myself an Aiden that promises to pay off all my student loans. <laughs> Next is a series. This one, Addicted to You by Krista and Becca Ritchie. This had actually been on my TBR since the book first came out, which was what, 2013? This came out in 20, 2013, 2014, one of those. And I just kept putting it off and putting it off until like 2021, when I was like, let me just see what all the hype is about. And I loved this series. I have to say Lily and Lo are fantastic. Their character growth throughout their personal five books and then like the whole 10 books of the series was just, phenomenal. So start with Addicted to You and 
yeah just enjoy Lily and Lo. Next, do I have to explain this book at all? Do I really have to explain this book? Iris and Declan. <sighs> I received this as an ARC from Valentine PR and I, look, at one point I wanted to throttle Declan. If you got to this, it was around like this part where he just said unforgivable things. I wanted to smack him across the face. I wanted to more than smack him because he hurt Iris's feeling and he deserved to suffer the way that she made him suffer. So yeah, ultimate fake dating, marriage of convenience, workplace. I had an all around good time with this book. <laughs> we have two more, don't worry, don't you worry. I'm gonna go with this one. The Spanish Love Deception. I ate this book up when it came out and I'm actually very upset that none of her other books are on Kindle Unlimited because she got very she got picked up very fast by a trap publisher which honestly good for her but sad for the Kindle Unlimited people because personally if this was an on KU I would never have read it but I'm so glad it was because I got to experience Aaron and Lena and this was also another book I wanted it to be dual POV. We just had Lena's point of view and I honestly I knew that Aaron like had the biggest crush on her. But to not see his POV or read his POV during this whole book, especially when they went to Spain. I wanted his POV so bad. But yeah, ultimate fake dating. This just, I had a great time reading this book. And then the final one, A Not So Meet Cute by Megan Quinn. This was the cutest meet cute that I've ever read. Like, I just want to pull Lottie and just go to like the Maserati dealership and hunt for a sugar daddy because that's essentially what Lottie was doing whenever she met him. But yeah, whenever Lottie and Huxley meet, it's just like they're polar opposites, but their end goal is the exact same. So if you have not read this book, read it. I didn't love book two. I DNF that one, which I said I did. Um, did I tell you guys that? Yes, I told you guys. I DNF that book so hard, but I love this one. Fake dating. Um, it's hilarious. Like, absolutely hilarious. I think this is Megan's funniest book. It might also be one of her spiciest. It could be lying, though. <laughs> so that concludes all of my fake dating books. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm also probably going to find some more recs and put them down below in the description box. Um, and also all of my socials will be down there as well. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!